Welcome to the Transform Your Wealth and Health podcast, where experts in wealth, health, and fitness help transform your life. Here's your host, Andy Arder. The 10 Steps to Sales Success. Hi, welcome to the show. We've been going through the 10 Steps of Sales Success, and we've already gone through information gathering, pre-sales preparation, meeting your clients, needs, wants, and desires, establishing rapport, trust, and value, framing your pitch, and now number seven is linking to your offer. Now I've used all these techniques to help me sell to the UK's and some of the world's biggest companies. And it's a matter of a process sometimes if you have a pitch and you want it to go in the correct manner professionally, you have to try and take it along a journey. And this step seven is a very, very important part of it. It can also be a tiny little bit, but we've established that we're making a pitch and we've made the pitch now, getting towards the three quarter mark, let's call it, where we want to actually close the sale. But there's a very important step. And this step is linking the main body of your pitch to the close. If you jump straight from the pitch, straight to the close, it's a little bit like having a new girlfriend where you go too far too quickly. And if you overstep the mark, it's very, very rude. And it's the same kind of stuff really. You know, there's certain etiquette and I like to think that you can build this thing into your sale where you may link from the main body to the close. So what might we say to give you an example? Well, an example might be where you go backwards over what you've said and you're looking at this point also for a confirmation. So you might want them to nod their head or to say yes to what you say. So let's go through something along the lines of, well, you've heard what we've got to say. You can see how we operate. Does that work for you? So it's it's not actually a close, but you're working towards getting that affirmation that they're willing to deal with you. And you're telling them that we're getting towards the end now. We're gonna do some business. We want to close this deal. So give me some feedback that we're on the right lines. Are we gonna be able to make this work? If you meet resistance here, it's better than meeting resistance elsewhere. So if you do get resistant, it means you haven't done enough. You're not gonna be able to close a sale. Get it now rather than further on when you're actually saying, give me your old number, give me your money. Let's do this deal. Because if you get a knockback then, it's a little bit more difficult because you've taken things too far by then. So here we're looking for linking from the main body to the close, but you need that green light from your customer. So you can work out, depending on exactly what you sell, what would link from your main body of your offer. So in other words, what's the advantages or what's the unique thing about your product, goods or services, and how you can then say to somebody, please let's do a deal. And if you can do that successfully, it paves the way. So we've given an example before, so many other ways of saying, are we happy here? Do you know where we're going with this? Are you on board pretty much? We're now taking it that we're gonna ask you for an order, for some money, for your credit card possibly, and now we're going to the business end of the transaction. So you've given them all the advantages, told them how much better you are than the competition, why your product's great. You've asked for the confirmation of that they're happy with what you've had to say, and they see you as a professional outfit, now you go towards the close. So the buying decision is then to be made and you're gonna ask for a confirmation that this deal is to be done. But you can't do that without testing the water and linking from your main body of your pitch to the close. It's 
a rude thing to do and you need to set it up so that a bit like crossing the ball in the football so a lot of the time when people are playing football they pass the ball to and from each other and you know where that ball is going to end up going in the, in the middle to the centre forward in the end but it's passed around a few times and they're going to get the ball in the middle when it's just right for them so that centre forward's got to be in position the other players are moving around and all of a sudden the cross comes in it's a great cross and there's a goal scored and you're going to do exactly the same thing you can only strike exactly at the right point so you set it up you might get two or three confirmations in a row and then right I'll be ready to do this deal so that's the point you're at now linking to your offer I hope that helps you guys get an idea of exactly where you need to take things it's a journey and that vital piece is a point that you need to always use you don't go straight for the offer to the close that middle piece looking for confirmation link in from why you should be given an order from your main body to the close it's very very important hope that helps you if you like this kind of information that we're giving you please tell your friends share comment on the show and give us a review on iTunes or wherever you get your podcast from and help us to grow the show Thanks very much.